Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Today I will be show a full video to any of you having a Ford F-150 guys generation from year 2009 to year 2014. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the fuse for the keyless entry for the keypad on the door, the one with the numbers guys, where that fuse is located, stay with us, we will explain that in this video today. If your keypad does not work, check that fuse guys. We will explain where you can buy cheap fuses from and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so you don't waste your time and money. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. On this channel you will find all the fuse videos on Ford F-150. We are going to make video for every single fuse, so if you're on the road, stuck in the middle of somewhere, you need to find a specific fuse, you can just come to the channel, search for it, find it in less than, let's say, 30 seconds. You don't even need to pull your manual out of the glove box and most of the times you will be even missing this one. Something else guys, uh, we take cars here at the garage and we take them completely apart we fix engines transmissions bodywork we show you how to fix pretty much anything and the mechanical work guys okay electric codes and things like that can be found on our main youtube channels uh, those are all uh, our older channels and this one is our new channel where we're going to share just fuses so we can make it really convenient for you to find the information that you need. Now if you need to buy replacement fuses, relays for your Ford F-150 because do, those can be really expensive at the parts store or, or the dealership, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can get them at a really good price and quick shipping as well. So let's continue. So which fuse we need to check specifically guys, okay? Uh, we'll be demonstrating on 2012 Ford F-150. If you have a different year but that generation, the video may be helpful as well. Uh, now, you have two fuse boxes. One is under the hood, right here guys. That's the main engine management fuse box. And then you have another fuse box that's uh, for the body control guys of your Ford F-150. Under the dash, okay, under the glove box, on the right side, in the food well compartment, guys, right here, remo remove that plastic, open the fuse box, and you will have that layout here. We took a picture so you can clearly see what we have exactly here. Let's explain quickly why it's very important to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so the fuse that we'll need to check for the keyless uh, entry guys for the key part uh, uh, on your f-150 will be on that row right here on the left side if you start on the very top and go to the very bottom guys that 10m fuse which is known as fuse number f 18 f18 that's the fuse guys for the killer center and for the keypad hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you having an f150 and trying to find this fuse thank you for watching see you next time